We are learning new details about the disappearance of North Conway teen Abby Hernandez. The 15 year old returned home in July, nine months after she vanished while walking home from school. According to newly released court documents, Abby did not immediately reveal the identity of her alleged kidnapper, Nathaniel Kibbe, when she returned home. Ray Brewer joins us live in the newsroom now to tell us what else those documents are revealing about this case. A lot of questions, Ray. There are, Sean, and there are also some answers in those documents. They reveal, for instance, that Abigail Hernandez had been home for about a week when her mother, Zenia, told investigators that Abby had some information that could lead them right to her alleged kidnapper. It was during an interview that Abigail Hernandez told detectives from the Conway Police Department and New Hampshire State Police that it was Nathaniel Kibbe that held her captive. According to the affidavit, Abigail told detectives that at one point during her confinement, Kibbe, quote, handed her a cookbook that had the name Nate Kibbe written inside. And he also provided her with a ruler that had the initials N-E-K written on it. Abby says she used paper from a notebook and was given a pen so she could write a letter to her mother and her boyfriend. When asked by detectives if she could provide more details about where she was being held, Abigail, quote, remembered seeing a framed copy of the Declaration of Independence hanging on the wall, a leopard print blanket on the bed. At the end of the interview, detectives presented a photo lineup of eight men that included a photo of Kibbe. The affidavit says she immediately picked out Nathaniel Kibbe without hesitation and that she broke down emotionally and said she was 98% sure the man in the photo was the man who took her. Abigail Hernandez disappeared on October 9th of 2013 and reappeared in July of this year. Nathaniel Kibbe is now charged with kidnapping. He's being held on a million dollars cash bail. While the affidavit arrest warrant has been heavily redacted, you can read all of what's been released on WMUR.com. We've posted the document along with our previous coverage of the case. In the newsroom, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.